found the exhibition? I mean, it's fantastic. Where did you get the idea from? <laughs> well, I, it, the idea comes from really three, three experiences. The idea started last January when I was resident and uh, did some uh, public transactions on the high street, giving away gifts. Then the, the idea evolved by travelling on the train and starting to write uh, uh, a newspaper, really, or an essay, an extended essay, uh, of what it was to uh, be in my garden, to grow things in my garden. Uh, because I'm a, uh, I'm a bad gardener, uh, but I'm absolutely very, very interested in, in how things grow and die and all the rest of it. Hmm. Um, how long have you been interested in this? It's only in the last 10 years that I've started to um, look at the natural environment, really. Um, I've always you know, loved landscape and stuff like that, but I've never sort of physically interacted with, uh, with plants and stuff like that. So about the last 10 years, remembering my, you know, my practice spans about 30 years now, so it's, it's always been in the back of my head, but the last 10 years it's been really there and uh, something I'm very conscious of. In a sense, uh, I, I like things that are alive, so this installation is alive right now in these compost drums. Stuff is happening. Um, there is already newspapers in there, and they're already beginning to change from newspapers into soil. And I'm very interested in that transformation as um, well. John, you said earlier about giving gifts to people. Hmm. What you're doing here, is it a bit like giving a gift back to nature? No, I don't. That's a lovely, lovely question, actually. That's brilliant. It's, um, what I'm trying to do here is make an artwork that transforms a newspaper, which contains the, the contents of my thinking and the images of the good people on the high street that, that uh, took the gifts from me and the questions themselves into soil. So uh, whether that's uh, and the gift really is is yeah it could be a gift. It's really an artwork. I see it as an, I see this as the end of a prolonged period of thinking and working, and you know this has been great for me because I get to build it, and not just have it in my head. So building it. It's different from having it in your head, so, yeah. So, John, can we expect more artworks like this from you? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I have done many <laughs> in the past. Uh, the next work that relates to this will, I'm sure, happen uh, in this country or another country. In fact, the next big artwork like this is called Rogue Vines, which is the world's first hydroponic vineyard, which is a vineyard on, in, inside of a lorry that's got perspex sides to it and has a broadcasting unit built into the lorry, which will go around the world and make wine, but ha that has no origin because it's grown in hydroponic soil, which is soil that has no, it's just made out of clay balls. Um, so that's why I'm interested in soil, really, is that this soil, hopefully at the end of it, is unique. So thank you for that interview, John, and we can expect more works like this. You can, you can, and thank you very much for talking with me.